A lot of these fundamental ethical principles are not really written down anywhere. So in the tag, we last year we started to think about could we write a set of ethical principles which at least underpin the work of our group, which is primarily looking at reviewing new specifications as they come into the web platform. Um, so we started to look at this and see what we could do, what we could write down, what we could get consensus on. Um, and it turned out uh, to be fairly easy to get consensus on a, on a set of principles uh, which we've published as the Technical Architecture Group Ethical Web Principles, um, which are really uh, trying to codify some of that stuff and to actually put down on paper the differentiator of the web is it is a pr it's pro-social in nature. It's it's that it is intended uh, to uh, to for the benefit of society and not simply as a neutral uh, platform for anybody to put any kind of application on, um, and that that idea can be encoded into the architecture of the web in various ways. We can make sure that when we're building a new uh, specification, a new API, uh, that, it is a, that it does not uh, make things worse for users in terms of privacy, in terms of data leakage, um, that uh, it is built with the needs of marginalized communities in mind, um, that it is not, uh, that it is uh, uh, that it is not car causing harm to society. So just a few of the things that we wrote down are things like there is one web. Uh, you know the web should not be inherently able to or should not be built to enforce national boundaries. Um, uh, the web should not cause harm to society. Uh, the web must uh, support healthy community and debate, this was one that we thought about a lot because there's, there's been a lot of debate about how much speech is good, is free, how much free speech is good for society versus uh, limiting speech, especially hate speech. So we have some very specific wording here about we're supporting, the web must support free speech. On the other hand, the web, you know, it should not be construed that every single website must therefore not censor uh, hate speech because that is also a negative uh, consequence of the web. Um, the web is for all people, internationalization, uh, security and privacy are essential. The web must make it possible for people to verify the information they see. So can you trace the provenance of data that, you've, um, that, that you're seeing on the web? Uh, and something that is kind of dear to our heart was about uh, the web being transparent. So from a developer perspective, you should be able to see what's happening inside of a web page. This is based on the kind of view source principle or the modern interpretation thereof where you can, using developer tools, always see what's happening inside of a web page, understand uh, what's happening, and you can build maybe extensions that help the, uh, create a better, a better user experience. So those, those are some of the things that we're looking at. We're applying these in our regular design reviews and our regular work uh, that we are uh, helping other working groups both inside and outside of W3C to build new technologies. And uh, we're looking forward to talking to more people about this, to refining these principles as we go along. We're already incorporating some public feedback that we received and we're going to be issuing a, 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 a addendum to them or an or a enhancement to them. Um, so these are living principles, and uh, yeah, that's basically what, what I wanted to talk about.